Right. So there's currently an issue with the preview of dynamic creative ads when you come to look for the Facebook post with comments. So you may have seen it, you're going to do it and you're brought to this page where all you have is these dynamic containers for your text and your headline and your description and the image that is the image of your website. Now, I've spoken to Meta Support about this. They said it's an intentional change, but one piece of advice, never take the first answer you get from Meta Support. Always ask a couple of times to different reps to try and see what is the actual answer. So I've escalated that and we're going to see what it is. But for now, I want to give you a workaround that you can use in the interim, which is going to take longer, unfortunately. It's not as good, but hey, it's still going to allow you to grab the post ID of your top performing dynamic creative elements. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to first select the ad you want. You're going to change the date range to maximum, make sure it's on maximum. And then you're going to hit this see history button on the right hand side. Okay. And that's going to bring you up all the history of what's been happening with your ad. So you can see here, I've obviously created the ad. I've been doing edits to it. And then finally, when it went live, Meta here, changed by Meta, changed it from pending, pending review to active. That is the date that you want to take into account, okay? So you can see here, they're all the same date, but let's say you built the ad over a couple of days and then you scheduled it and then it was in review for a while. Like it had to get reviewed for, let's say, you know, from one day to the next. That's going to change the date, okay? So it's the actual date you want to care about is the date that Meta changed it to active. That's the, the date where the post ID becomes an actual thing, okay? So 9th of February, that's what we're going to be looking at. And then what we want to do once we have that date is we obviously want to look at our top, you know, image version or top text, whatever. This one's not the best example because this is just one that I ran and it was a failed test. So it doesn't have much spend behind it or much engagement on the ads, but I'm just going to use it as an example. So the one thing that I that did clearly stand out is the text. So there is a clear text winner. The rest, you know, it doesn't tell us much. So I can't use it, but like reduce waking up. I'm going to take that as my starting point. If you were grabbing the winners as you would be doing this process for, you can obviously have more points of um, confluence, I guess, to go and look for. Okay, so I'm just taking the text for now. I'm going to open a new tab just so I can do it with ease. And yeah, still an as manager. You could do this in the same one, but you're going to come down to the left-hand side and you're going to click on all tools here. Okay, the three horizontal lines, all tools. And then you're going to scroll down to where it says page posts. So under engage customers, click on page posts, right? And that's going to take you to an authentic authentication screen normally. I've already done it, so it's not going to. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure you've selected the correct page. So I'm taking Sueno that this ad account was for. And then you're going to come down to add posts on this left-hand side, okay? So we've clicked on add posts. And here you can see all the different ad, ad posts, post IDs here that have been created in this account from dynamic creators, from individual creators, whatever, right? So first thing I always recommend doing is clicking on one because what happens if you don't click on one is, let's say you've scrolled all the way down and then you click on one, it brings you back up to the top and you can never find it again. So just start the process by clicking on the first one. So this preview window appears, right? Now we're going to, just scroll this along a little bit so we can see the date and shift your zoom because you want to be able to see the date as well as the information of the actual creative. And remember what I said, we're looking for reduced waking up as the top text. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to come first of all down to the correct date, which was the 9th of February. And here you can see that particular ad, 9th of February. That's where it all is. Um, so let's click on that. And we're going to look for the ones that say reduce waking. So all you're going to, or what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to click on every single one that says reduce waking or your image that was the top image, like whatever part of the creative you're looking at. And then you're going to look until you can find it. Okay. So if you had, you know, one particular image that was where our image or video that was working the best, and you also had a clear winner for the headline, you would go, Hey, here's my winning image. Let me check. Is that the winning headline? No, that's not the winning headline. Okay, let me move on, right? So what I'm doing though is I'm just looking for the one that's going to have the engagement on it. 
because all I have to work from is the text. Okay, so I'm looking for that one. I'm just going to keep clicking. There you go. There it is. So this one, reduce waking up during the night. 9th of February, you can see this is the one that's got the engagement. Like I said, this is a loser. It's not had much spends. It's not got much engagement. Um, but yeah, you if you've got a few that have different engagement levels because you've spent a lot more, you might need to click on a few of them and determine what one's got the most engagement um, because that's probably the one that's spending the most money. Okay, so I can see that here now. This here is the post ID. So I could copy this and I'll just show you to confirm it. So let's create an ad. Uh, I have to do it. Let's go into my winners. Add set here. Just quickly create this. Okay, so use existing post. Okay, and then if we put this in, it should populate that ad as normally. There you go, guys. That's been done. Let me scroll down. There you go. You can see we've got that. Retrieve the post ID. Perfect, right? So it still works. Uh, people said they're not seeing something. You must have done something incorrect. Um, and then, of course, if you're using this to manage comments, the other thing you can do is from this place, you can go to share. You can copy the link of it, right? And then just paste that in another tab. And here you should be able to... Um, Let's click see all comments and all comments. Here you can manage and hide the comments and things, right? So what I'd recommend if you're like watching this dynamic creative ad over a period of long, a long period of time, maybe copy this URL link and then you can easily find it and take a note of the post ID if it's not ready to be moved into the winner's ad set. Yeah, if it is ready to be moved into the winner's ad set, just move it into the winner's ad set and you can manage the comments there. So yeah, hopefully that solves the issue for you guys and Definitely when I hear back from Meta support, like a, a firm answer, I will do an update or I will, um, yeah, give you the bad news and tell you you're going to have to do this constantly.